Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. Thanks for watching. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial. Um, so let's get on with it. Uh, so in this uh, video request text file I have, um, I had a request on making this, uh, whenever you walk into an area, you get equipped with a tool, and whenever you leave the area, you get uh, the tool, like, you don't have no tool anymore, like the tool disables or gets removed so firstly what we're going to do is we're going to excuse me insert a source so um excuse me so look for any kind of it actually does not matter it could be a gun or anything but I'm gonna be using the link source so just click it uh, you can just press no or if that pops up just press yes but if you press no just drag it inside a starter pack so I already have Link Sword, which is right here. That's my tool. Now I'd recommend uh, clicking on the tool and pressing on Can Be Dropped. Now if you don't have this Properties uh, menu out, just go to the View tab and press on Properties and Explore. You you know of course you want both of those always open. All right, so uncheck Can Be Dropped. So uh, whenever you press Backspace, you won't be able to drop it anymore. So now we're gonna make the area. Now I don't know what kind of guys. Uh, kind of guys I don't know what kind of shape you guys are gonna want uh, but I'm gonna go for a cylinder shape uh, for the area I'm gonna rotate it or you can just use this rotate tool but I did it with the keyboard uh, by doing like control T and R alright so here's gonna be this is gonna be my area so once you expanded it out um, make sure anchor it's on now I do control D to duplicate and now we're gonna make the bigger area and uncheck can collide um, and then this bigger part uh, just change the transparency to one so the scripts gonna work all on this uh, invisible part not on this uh, bottom part the bottom part just gonna be for show you know to show like what where the area is that you can go into now there's this problem with Roblox now I don't know if there's a fix to this, but as you can see, the um, uh, what you call this, like the the blue lines. I know there's a name. Uh, it's like a, a something box or box something. But anyways, I think it's like a hit box. I don't know. But you're if if you if you run like a touched function uh, with the touched event, and if you come just in this little invisible area, I think it will fire. Uh, now I'm not sure if there's a fix uh, to uh, a, f a fix for this, but uh, no, I don't know any fixes. So what we're going to do is select both parts, Control G to group, and just name this area. Now we're going to go in the invisible part. Make sure it's the invisible part. Right click, insert object, and scripts. Alright, so hopefully I can script this kind of fast. Um, so local is touching is touching equals false. Uh, now we're going to make the touch function connect. So this function is going to fire whenever we touch the part. Uh, I cannot type. Uh, we're gonna it's gonna take a parameter of hit, which hit is going to be the part that we touch. Now we're going to make a variable for checking if uh, for the humanoid to local hum equals hit dot parent uh, find first child humanoid whoa I keep hitting random keys yo uh, humanoid so now we're going to check if whatever touched it has a humanoid so if hum then um, oh and also we want to check if uh, is touching is equal to false so we're going to put and is touching is equal to false so um, now instead of doing is touching is equal to false you could just do this would be the exact same thing by doing this and not is touching so is touch if you just had is touching that would mean the boolean is true but just by putting a not it would just change the boolean to false so now uh, is touching false you know and then it's gonna move on 
Uh, so now what we want to do is change is touching to true, and then um, we're going to load the the weapon that we have into our uh, humanoid, I believe. So to do this, we're not going to be doing any cloning or anything. There's this, there's this function that I had learned not too long ago. It's called equipped tools. Or equip tool. Yeah, it's equip tool. Alright, so to do this, we're going to do hit dot parent. So hit is whatever object touches, and then the parent is going to be the character. So hit dot parent, find first child. So we're going to find the child inside of hit dot parent. Uh, we're going to look for humanoid, and then we're going to call the function here load tool. So load tool uh, inside the parentheses is the actual object. So what we can do is uh, do, okay, we're going to have to find the player. Since we added the object inside of the back, the starter pack. So how this works is everything in starter pack is going to replicate. Replicate pretty much means like duplicate or copy to. Uh, backpack. Now, what's backpack? Well, backpack is inside of each player has a backpack. Uh, as you can see, there's the the items, the everything that was inside of starter pack. Now, I th ooh, animation. Yeah. Um, that other local script that was just in there that was from another script that I made. Um, but it clones the script inside of the backpack. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's how it works. So, yeah. Uh, so what was I saying before? Um, oh yeah, load tool. So it's gonna take link sword and it's gonna put it inside of our character. I think that's what I was explaining. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the player's backpack. Um, so how do we find the player in a touched uh, function? So local plr that's just going to stand for player equals game so we're going to get game dot players get player from character um so what is game well just how workspace holds these items well game holds all of this that's how that is and then players we go in players and then there's this function called oops get player from character so it's going to get the player from here uh, from the character so I think it's get player from character yeah alright so and then we do hit dot parent because hit dot parent is going to be the character uh, now now what we can do is do player dot backpack or backpack is lowercase p dot backpack uh, dot linked sword um so make sure whatever name uh your tool is or your weapon make sure it's the same as right here okay so copy this all that paste it and then the instead of touched we're going to do touch yeah capital t okay touch not make sure it's not touched make sure it's just touch uh touch stopped uh, so this function is going to fire uh, whenever we stop touching the part so let's make sure everything's right okay so uh, we're going to change uh, we're going to take this not out so we're going to check if is touching is true so right here we set it to true so um, it's is going to check if it's true. So if it's true, we want to change it to false. So we want to change it back to false because um, for this to fire again, we have to change it to false because right here it checks. Um, sorry for saying um so many times, but it checks if it's uh, going to be false. And then what we do here, I'm going to take this out. Uh, instead of load tool, Oh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. It's not load tool. I just realized. It's equip tool. Equip tool. Okay. 
So, right here, let's take this out now. Uh, it's called Unequip. Oh, let's put that one. Equip Tools with the S at the end. Just like that. All right. So it's about 10 minutes. All right. Touch stopped. Okay, maybe that's not the even name. Okay, I have a feeling. <laughs> I now you guys probably notice this. Got a battery thingy. Uh, let's see. What are we doing wrong? Um. The even name is wrong for sure. Come on now. Roblox touch. Touch ended. That's it. Okay. I'm always forgetting this. Touch ended. Wow. Ended. Always forgetting that. Okay. Now let's check it out. So, let's let's just come over here. Oh, it didn't fire. Oh, wow, nice, nice. It actually did good. Uh, I'm going to check in my character real quick. Alright, so we have one link sword. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I get out of there. Cool. Come back in. Now, uh, it's kind of laggy because I'm recording. Oh, it works very nice. Very nice, very nice. Cool, cool. Um, I'd like to say thank you to whoever requested that, because guess what? Anytime I get a video request, I learn from it, which is, I really appreci appreciate to all those that uh, request. Now, for those that are wanting, like, tycoons and RPGs, I'm not a big fan of those, and I don't really know how to script those. Uh, I mean, if I, I probably could if I tried, but... Um, I prefer really not to do those. Uh, so just think something maybe like this, or I have some other requests that I'm hopefully going to be doing. Um, I'll probably be getting to this one soon for sure. Uh, and about this, if you whoever requested this, I probably could find the comment. But a third person script, uh, like Strobe, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one because Strobe is seems pretty well scripted. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to go to that. But anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out.